Five insights to content marketing. Today we'll cover what we believe to be five important principles to content marketing. These should guide your decisions in developing content in the future. Principle number one, content is king and consistency is queen. Now we've been in the message on hold business for 27 years, and one thing that we've list, we've learned in all of that time specifically is that consistent timing is critical for our clients. When a client orders a production and provides us a deadline to meet, we meet it every time, no questions asked. What we've learned about social media marketing is that communicating with your community is core, and it's core to building trust and influencing decisions. If you develop content that reinforces your reputation uh, of being an expert and, and being a generous participant, focusing on the success of others, you must publish that content on a consistent basis. Because if you begin to draw in your audience with your content and then you miss a beat, they'll notice, and that may affect your reputation negatively. Content is king in the social media arena, but just remember that consistency is that woman behind every great man. Don't publish program. In traditional media channels, the term programming is common. In fact, uh, television shows succeed or fail based on programming. A television network will build viewership of a specific show to a level and then drop in a new show right after that previous show, hoping to attract an already in place audience to stay and to watch for another 30 minutes. And the program then, they would assume, is so good that you want to come back and watch again next week. Radio stations do the same. Unlike books or magazines, that are intended to be read once. The broadcast media outlets have perfected the programming angle. Keep the consumer coming back by establishing a placeholder in their calendar. <clears throat> and it's time that you apply the TV network lesson to the social network. Plan your content more like a television program director and less like a single book author. People are attracted to humans, not the institution. So promote the human. Today, we literally have internet celebrities. In my hometown of Franklin, Tennessee, lives Michael Hyatt. He's just an ordinary guy to us here in Franklin, Tennessee. But on the internet, he writes about leadership and business values to over 100,000 followers. And he, for many years, was the CEO of Thomas Nelson Publishers. Now, I knew nothing about Thomas Nelson until I started reading and following Michael's work. And then I developed an interest in the publishing company that he led for so many years. My wife's father was an executive in the marketing department at Ford for many years. And I obviously know about that company, being from Michigan. But I had no serious interest in Ford until I began being one of the 60,000 plus followers who are following Scott Monty. And I began reading his posts about the exceptional social media success that Ford is having. Now I, <clears throat> excuse me, now I know more about Ford than I ever knew before. It's not the brand that I'm following, it's the human. And their materials are helping me to understand the brand and helping me to like that brand more. Stay tuned for the rest of the story. We all know about Paul Harvey and his rest of the story. You've heard talk show hosts who close a, a talk segment just before a commercial break and leave you with a teaser. And they leave you wanting more. That's a staple in most media, so let's use that in social media. 
When you begin planning your content marketing calendar, make sure that you are building with ex expectations and with affinity to your audience by teasing them with content that you have coming up next. I'll show you an example of that as we get to the end of our social media traction class today. Be alert and be ready. In the plumbing business, you're never really off the clock. In fact, you're on 24-7, or at least someone in your business is. Probably the cell phone ringing at the dinner table is a familiar sound. When you're building a business and you're looking to serve your customers, you'll leave the dinner table to make an extra buck and provide a higher level of service than your competitor. So why are you engaged in content marketing in the first place? Because you want to grow sales and you want to build brand awareness. However, to reach these goals, you need to first build an online conversation around the content that you produce. When people begin talking about your content, you need to be sure that you are ready to participate in real time. Look for ways to staff your online communication channel with humans from your company. And make sure to schedule shifts that would assign the staff to cover weekends and evening hours. Assign members of your team to be on call, maybe at home, and compensate them for that time, and reward them for showing you that they consistently respond to your customers in a timely manner. 